to see the demonstration of single cantilever spring. Uh, so these are the armamentarium that will be required. Uh, 23 gauge wire, a marker, a Adams plier, a heavy wire cutter and a universal plier. So single cantilever springs are generally used in correction of uh, anterior crossbites where a, tooth, a single tooth uh, when it's parietally displaced we can use these springs uh, to push it more labially. Uh, so cantilever springs are generally called cantilevers because they are supported at one end. Uh, so similarly this will be supported by the appliance at one end and the other end will have an active arm which will push the tooth on the outer surface. So let's put a retentive tag and then uh, we are going to incorporate a coil in it. So the coil is for the increased length and uh, there will be more uh, deflection of the wire. Uh, the coil has to be in a single plane in order to pro uh, provide the maximum advantage. So now that uh, we are done with uh, putting the coil, uh, we have to give a 90 degree bend in the midway. Uh, if the tooth is, if it's going to correct this tooth which is palatally placed, so this arm must be in contact with the uh, palatal surface of the teeth. So give a 90 degree bend at the midway. This, this arm will be adapted to the palate. So now, yeah, so it on the surface of the tooth. So this will be incorporated into the acrylic. So now give a retentive tag on the end of this wire. That's it, a single cantilever spring is done. Uh, we activate it by opening the coil which will keep pushing the tooth to the buckle surface. So, that's it. So thank you.